Pizza is one of my favorite kinds of foods. You can do so many things with it. Today we're gonna to make a low calorie barbecue chicken pizza. We're gonna make the crust out of quinoa. It's actually really delicious. So if you're on the camp six week challenge, we're actually gonna be making the female portion size for this. You are able to eat this on the camp challenge. I know it tastes so good. You might not think you can, but you can. And if you're a member and you just wanna have an alternative to regular pizza, this is a really low calorie style. So let's do it. stopping by Carpenter's Kitchen and welcome to our YouTube channel Carpenter TC where we help you accomplish your fitness goals before, during, and after the camp six week challenge. If that sounds cool to you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you won't miss any of our workouts or other instructional videos just like this one. And if you think barbecue chicken pizza sounds pretty damn good, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That also just helps support the channel. So what you're going to need is one cup of quinoa. It's pronounced quinoa, not canola, but quinoa. One question I get asked all the time. One cup of quinoa. I'm actually going to be soaking this quinoa in water for at least four hours, up to 24 hours. This is going to allow the blender to really blend up the dough exactly how we need it. We're going to also be using some baking powder. Just one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. We're gonna need one cup of water. We're gonna need some thick and spicy barbecue sauce. It's really not that spicy. They have, Walden Farms has a lot of different kinds of barbecue sauces. I think three different kinds, so you can try them all. But I'm gonna go with the thick and spicy. We're gonna use Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. We're gonna need two teaspoons of that. A little bit more because we're gonna like to sprinkle some of that on the dough before we put it in the oven. We're gonna need at least four ounces of chicken breast. We're gonna garnish with some red onion, not as acidic as a white onion and it tastes amazing. And then we're gonna put some cilantro on there as well. And that's it, that's all you need. So I'm gonna take my soaked quinoa and make sure I strain all the water out of it. So what I'm gonna use is this tool right here. And uh, I'm just gonna strain the water here. Now I got all the water out of the quinoa, I'm just gonna take my Nutribullet here. get as much as I can in there. Alright, I'm gonna grab my this is Dash garlic seasoning. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. In my opinion, not the most flavorful food in the world, so I wanna give it that Italian crusted taste here. I'm gonna grab my one cup of water, pour it in. Cap on, blend it up, and we are good to go with our pizza dough. Let's do it. Ready to go at 425. Let's go and get this beauty off here. All right. Woo! Smells like pizza dough to me. All right, so what I got is parchment paper. I'm going to put the parchment paper on a baking sheet, put this entire 
uh, dough as much as I can on that parchment paper and put it in there for uh, 15 minutes. Now, if you're on the six-week challenge, we're going to weigh the dough after we cook it, and then we're just going to weigh out a two-ounce portion so that you get your two-ounce portion of carbs for the meal plan. You want to give your parchment paper a little spray with some pan. That won't hurt. Really help you out a little bit. Beautiful. Dough looks great. Let's plop it in the oven. 20 minutes later. I'm gonna flip it and then cook it for another eight minutes and then I'm gonna check on it again. Now all we have to do is cut the produce. Let's go ahead and start with the cilantro. I like just cutting the stem off just kind of bunching it up a little bit and then cutting it in relatively small pieces not too small Ooh, that smells good right. the stems are fine to eat I mean I actually enjoy eating the, the actual stem of the cilantro Onion here, nice thin slices with the onion. And of course, last, let's go ahead and get the chicken cut. What I like to do for the chicken is I want the chicken to be nice, really small uh, pieces. I don't like big chunks of pieces on my pizza, uh, especially with this dough. It's not like it's the most strong dough in the world. So we're just gonna cut this into small pieces here. So our next step is to get a pan. We're gonna put our chicken in the pan and we are going to Put our barbecue sauce in the pan as well. We're just gonna heat this up. This is just gonna reduce that barbecue sauce a little bit. Since it's Walden Farm Zero Calorie, it's a little bit watery, even though it's called thick and spicy. It's still pretty watery, so we're going to uh, reduce it a little bit here. And this is also gonna heat it up. Now that the dough's done, everything's cut up, heated up, and ready to go, all we need to do now is put everything together. So if you're on the Camp Six Week Challenge, what you're gonna do from this step is you're gonna cut this dough to a two ounce portion if you're a female and a three ounce portion if you are a male. So since we cooked the quinoa, we now weigh it after we cook it. So this is the time when you would divvy this up and then weigh your carb. Same with the protein. If you're in the female uh, six week challenge, you're gonna do a four ounce portion. So you now weigh your chicken after you cook it. Same with the males, it's gonna be six ounce portion for you guys. So you'll just weigh it after you cook it and you can always do more protein. So if you wanted to add a little bit more protein to this pizza, you're more than welcome to. I'm not on the six week challenge, so I'm just gonna make this pizza just how it is so I can divvy it up and eat it with my fam. If you think this looks good, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And if you have anything you wanna say, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you plan on making this, leave it in the comments. If you like the video, if you wanna just say hi, just throw it in the comments. I love comments. I'll respond to all of them, and I'll see you on the next video.